boom, here I am. Let's hope this makes any sense. to make a video today at all and this is very spontaneous and very last minute but it's a topic that i discuss with my friends a lot that i'm speaking a lot to you guys about on instagram that i've always been trying to address but i feel like a lot of people are struggling with this including myself i've had one of these days today where it just all felt a bit like a beginning with no end and not really sure where to start i usually have like a very rigid coping strategy how i deal with when i feel like this to avoid the anxiety that i usually struggle with and i thought here are my five top tips on hobby burnout lack of motivation not knowing where to start i wanted to share them with you so here you go so point number one is set a realistic goal and make a plan so you have to ask yourself, what is my goal? Do I want to have a fully painted army? Do I want to paint the best painted model list there's ever been? Do I want to start doing commissions? First step is to define your goal. And then the second step is to be realistic about the timeline and the details of the goal. Because you have to ask yourself, at this level of a painter, I'm not going to have a perfectly painted army within two months it's probably not gonna happen so be realistic about it and then the likelihood that you're disappointed with the results or the progress that you're making is so much less um for me for example i've been into the hobby for eight months now and i have around 500 points of painted miniatures and 500 points that i own that are not painted yet and I set myself the goal to have a fully painted 2000 points army by August this year. There is no reason for that. It's just, for me, it would be realistic to achieve if I work towards it consistently without burning myself out. So that includes painting, for example, two or three nights a week just on my own stuff. I also do commissions, so I have to bear that in mind just how much time do i have how much time do i want to allocate to the hobby are you a person that struggles to find 30 minutes in the in a week are you someone who has the time but lacks the inspiration or motivation just be very self-aware of your abilities the goal you're setting and what is realistic for you to achieve in a certain amount of time and write it down write it down write it in your notes app or on a piece of sheet of paper or if it it may be really satisfying for some people to make an excel spreadsheet depends what type of person you are but write it down and break it down if you say you want to have a fully painted army by the end of the year break it down into the months what does that mean i have to achieve within a month and then break it down again what does that mean i have to achieve within a week if you're really struggling with achieving the goals that you normally set then just break it down make it very very realistic for you i do this a lot with my finances for example i break it down what does that mean i can spend in a week or a month in a day and same with with painting what's a realistic thing for me to do in a month how does that monthly goal help me achieve the longer term goal that's point number one point number two is your work setup and the accessibility of your workspace as you see behind me, this is my work setup. This is obviously not everything I own. So I have my case here where I can put all the items away that I don't want to like have laying around making my workspace cluttery and busy and not neat. I, I have to have a very accessible, easy workspace. That means if I have 30 minutes after work where I can paint, I can just sit down and start. I have my current project waiting for me right here. I have my wet palette ready. I have my water ready. I have my brushes here that I use the most and my most used paints. I have some more paints that I have in my little case, but I don't use them on a daily basis. So they're nicely stored away. Before I had this case, everything was laying around here and it stressed me out. I think for the majority of people, having a neat workspace that's organized and very accessible for you is a big key to enjoying your hobby, being motivated and 
finding the time easily. Oh. Point number three. What are your sources of inspiration? If you reflect back to when you started this hobby, what was the point that inspired you the most? Was it the painting? Was it the playing? Was it the law? Was it the community? What is the part that inspires you the most? And when do you always feel energetic and excited about this hobby? For me, that's often YouTube videos. I feel like the community aspect of things, I just watch people on a live stream or some more entertaining podcast. I love listening to that and when people talk about the hobby and I listen to it, I always feel very motivated to also do my own thing. So that's something I like to do. I, I like to put in a podcast in the background, something that doesn't distract me too much from painting. I have friends who like to put on battle reports. When I have a day where I really, really don't feel like painting myself, I just literally lay in bed in the evening and turn on a tutorial on how to paint something. And then I get really excited. Oh, I want to try this technique. I want to try this, or I actually want to try a new model. So I feel like out there, on the internet are a lot of different sources of inspiration that I find really really helpful. I can link my favorite YouTube channels and podcasts etc below and you can have a look for yourself if you find them as inspiring as I do. Now point number four, friends and community. You are not alone. So many people struggle with motivation and being not as productive as you want to be because you have work, you have your family, you may have children. There's just not enough hours in the day to do all the things that you want to, but you're 100% not alone. And when I feel very unmotivated and very unproductive and I, or I don't like any of my work or I just feel like I can't even get myself to sit down, I like to speak to my friends and be like, hey, I feel really shitty today, I feel like I don't like any of my work, I feel like I don't know what to do, I feel very uninspired and my friends are always there to to pick me up and it's the same way around if a friend of mine approaches me, I'm always there to, to pick them up and I also try to be very transparent about this on my stories on Instagram to just say like, hey today wasn't a great day, I feel kind of shit, that's why I did a, B, C and D and that helped me a bit. I hope that inspired someone. If you don't have immediate hobby friends that are super accessible to you, there are so many amazing groups and people out there. I can strongly recommend the Instagram community around Warhammer. It's just so open, so friendly. I've made so many friends just online that I've never met in my life. People just slide into each other's DMs is like the most normal thing ever. You can join a hobby group if you have one locally or just find a Discord server or Twitch or something where you feel a bit interactive and you can talk to people or even if it's just your mum. Your mum is probably not gonna understand a lot but she's probably gonna be supportive about it. Point number five probably the most important thing. If you are like me, very strict on yourself and way more easily disappointed than proud of yourself, I think it's really, really important to keep reminding yourself it is just a hobby. It's not your work, it's not an obligation, it's something you choose to do because you love and you enjoy it. It's not something fo anyone forces you to do and anyone expects something from you. The only expectation that there is, is yourself. If you choose actually this year, I'm not gonna be around much, I'm not gonna be able to, I maybe started a new job, I can't bring up the time to hobby, it's completely okay to just not hobby for a year if you want to and then maybe come back to it at a later point or you just enjoy the the social media aspects uh, and the entertainment aspects of the hobby for a while you're still not disconnected from it all at at all and it is your very own expectations that are making you feel bad about yourself if you just don't feel inspired that's completely okay and it's probably gonna come back sooner or later so don't worry about it Right, those were my five top tips. I really hope they could help you a little bit. And if you have any additional tips, then please put them in the comments below. Everyone will greatly benefit from them. If you have favorite YouTube channels or podcasts or something that you always find very inspiring as like content to watch, 
then please post it in the comments down below as well. Other than that, I'm going to link my hobby setup stuff as well so you can see what my favorite products are that I can truly recommend. And if you enjoyed this, then don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. That would be amazing feedback. I have so many other videos planned. I can't wait to make them. See you soon.